Hello everybody, this is Jason Hires. This is another edition of My Essential Albums. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about a uh, kind of a classic album. And uh, this was released in 1966. And uh, let me show you the album cover. And this is uh, John Mayall and the Blues Breakers with Eric Clapton. Some people call it the Beano album. I don't know if you can see the Beano in the uh, on the on the newspaper that he's holding, but some people do call it that. So after Eric Clapton kind of got tired of the commercial direction of the Yardbirds, he left the Yardbirds to pursue a more blues-based project. And he hooked up with John Mayle. Now, John Mayle was quite a bit older than Eric Clapton, but they both had a really strong reverence for the blues. So they recorded this album together, and uh, it is a classic album. Uh, it has a lot of uh, what you would call blues standards, which are songs that are, uh, you know, common songs that people do for the blues. Uh, for instance, Hideaway is one of them. That one's a really common song that a lot of people do over the years. Uh, you got um, Parchment Farm, which is pretty common. Uh, Ramblin' on My Mind, which is a Robert Johnson song, which I believe is the first ever song that Clapton actually sings on, on record. But I could be wrong about that. But everybody knows that uh, Eric Clapton loves Robert Johnson. I mean, he even did an album of Robert Johnson covers basically like called Me and Mr. Johnson or something like that. So Clapton loves Robert Johnson. Uh, and Stepping Out's another really, really common, uh, you know, it's a very common blues song that a lot of people do. Now, uh, the thing that stands out real quickly on this album, though, is Eric Clapton's guitar playing. And this was the, basically, this was the album that got people to famously, uh, you know, put Clapton as God on the, side of build, on the side of buildings and things like that. And the biggest thing about this is because his guitar tone, the the blues tone that he has on this particular record is fantastic. And uh, the guitar tone is great. Now you have John Mayle, who's a very solid blues guy. And he's basically been doing the same thing that he did on this record for 30 some odd years. I mean, he really hasn't deviated very much from, you know, John Mayle. He's consistent. He does blues-based albums. They always have a certain level of quality. Uh, you know, but... It's always kind of the same thing. With Clapton on board, though, Clapton elevates the whole thing and makes it better than it would be if Clapton wasn't there. And that's why this album in particular stands out in the John Mayall catalog. There's one other album called The Turning Point, which is a little better, but once again, I think they have a couple of collaborators that come in and kind of accelerate things up a little bit. Um, so there's a lot of good songs in this, and there's a... Like, for instance, right off the bat, it starts off with All Your Love, which, once again, has some really powerful Eric Clapton lead guitar tone. And then uh, there's a good cover of Ray Charles' What I'd Say. Uh, but the one that really leaps out at you comes a little bit later in the album. It's a song called Have You Heard. Now, this actually is a John Mayle original, which there's about... I don't know, four John Mayall originals on this album, something along those lines. But the guitar solos on this particular song are just amazing. And the, uh, the really powerful, bright guitar tone that Eric Clapton manages to catch on this particular album is one of the guitar tones that any blues guitar player worth their salt would love to be able to have. It's just such a powerful bright cutting tone it's just everything that you want from a blues guitar sound i read something somewhere like otis rush said about this if this was the only afton album that eric clapton was ever involved in he would still almost deserve to be in the blues hall of fame because of that album and that's pretty high praise from somebody like otis rush 
So this is a really good album. I mean, it is, you know, it's a blues album. It has the kind of blues tropes, uh, you know, the, you know, it's mostly in 12 bars, blah, 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 you know, so it isn't anything like super fantastically epic in terms of like, you know, composition of songs and things like that. And you could see where this was the stepping stone for Clapton into Cream because he kind of expands out from where he was with the Yardbirds and gets a little bit more intense. But with Cream, they're willing to move away from the blues structure a lot more than John Mayle was. This, is, this stays a lot more towards the kind of standard blues kind of structures and ideas. But... Overall, it's a really great album. It deserves a lot of praise. And if you really want to hear why so many people think that Eric Clapton is such a great guitar player, this is a very good album to listen to. This is probably Eric Clapton's best guitar playing It's on this album. I think that's going to wrap it up. I do appreciate you guys watching these videos. Thank you. Bye.